Hi everyone, it's Julian from Digital Trends and I'm here with Android N's Developer Preview 1. It was just released yesterday and you can grab it online by manually flashing the system files onto your phone, your Nexus phone, or you can uh, sign up to be an Android beta tester and you can grab it by an over-the-air update. So let's dive in and see what's new with uh, Android N. So overall, when you look at the home screen, when you you know start up your device, you're not going to notice a big difference uh, immediately. But the first major change comes in the form of the revamped uh, notification drawer. So pulling it down once now brings you these quick settings here. So you, that was different. Um, you couldn't see that there before. But now you have quick access to uh, Wi-Fi, data, Bluetooth, whatever. Um, that's up there and uh, also you can see that the notifications themselves look different. They run edge to edge, they're not as rounded as they once were and they, they don't have a space uh, sort of separating each notification. Also you can see here that quick setting, uh, sorry, quick reply is, uh, is now a function that you can sort of immediately reply to um, without losing the conversation. Uh, before in, in quick reply, you had to sort of press reply and it would sort of hide the message so you couldn't see what you were responding to. But now when you press reply, uh, there's a nice little animation and you can immediately say, uh, respond back um, from the notification itself. Um, apart from that, uh, I'm on an airplane mode right now, so, um, but I mean, if I wanted to toggle, like turn on Wi-Fi or turn on Bluetooth, I could just by tapping them here. And you can also see a little uh, button here that's sort of a, another way to sort of bring that down if you don't want to um, swipe down again yourself. You know, I think it's probably faster if you just do that rather than tapping that, but it's a nice option to have. And uh, as you can see here, this also is now one unified color. Uh, it's not separated by any um, different shades, and it's sort of uh, it has a much cleaner look to it. And uh, you can see here that there's an edit button here where you can sort of change the quick tiles um, if you want. You know, if you want to add data saver here, just press and hold it, and sort of move it in there. You can move this all. You could even bring all this down to uh, hide them if you want. If you want to have like nothing in your um, notification drawer, but um, Swiping right will bring you, bring you, give you access to those extra tiles, and um, also if you press and hold the gear icon, that'll give you access to um, quick settings, which I already turned on, and you can also find it here in um, in your settings app, and that actually gives it quite a few cool new options like the status bar. You can actually customize what goes on here. You can sort of, if you want it to um, show seconds in your clock, you can sort of turn that on and now you can see that there's seconds at the top. If you wanted to completely get rid of it, there you go. And the same applies with anything else that sort of goes on there. So if I, right now I'm in airplane mode, if I turn that off, it will disappear. The battery, uh, you can either show the, always show the percentage, show percentage when charging, or not even, you know, have it disappear at all completely. Uh, and yeah, so you can have it kind of completely clean if you want. That's notifications, and uh, what else is new is um, multitasking. So actually, the Recents button, this button right here, the square, um, sort of has a few new features. When you press it, you can see immediately that um, you sort of see a lot more of the app, rather unlike how you used to only see. You, you used to only see a view kind of similar like this. It, it sort of you didn't see a full screen version of the app. But now, when you press it, you get the full screen of the previous app that you were on. And um, actually, pressing it again will sort of switch between apps. And you can see that there's a the little timer that goes. Now, if I let the timer run it'll choose that app. So that's pretty neat. Uh, I guess it works better if you're one-handed, uh, if you're in, a, you know, your, your other hand is busy and you can't sort of, you want to sort of toggle, but you don't want to press. It's a nice option to have. Yeah, so um, pressing that will also, uh, going, going into Recents will also um, help you get into multitasking mode, or rather say if I'm in, um, 
say if I'm in uh, an app like Phoenix, the Twitter client app, um, I can press and hold Reasons button and that will sort of bring up multitasking mode. So you see the first app that I was in is sort of moved to the top. And the second app, if I wanted to put, uh, say, Google Translate, now I can sort of use both apps at the same time. And you can see here the slider in the middle sort of delineates which one you want to prioritize in, toward, in terms of uh, screen space. So if I want to have more of uh, the Twitter client app, then I can do that. But if I want to see more of Translate, I can do that. And uh, what's neat is that if you want to sort of go into just one app, sort of just slide up to get rid of the top app and the same applies for going down sort of gets rid of that so it's pretty neat there it's a little buggy sometimes but um, it works the way it should most of the time um, unfortunately it does say that you should note that it does say when you get into multitasking mode that um, some apps may not be compatible with uh, split screen support which means that um, developers sort of have to give that access to um, those apps. So uh, most apps seem to work fine, you know, in, in split screen mode, but uh, of course um, they, they sort of have to activate it for their app so that it works uh, flawlessly. But um, you can also press this button. You can see the button changed here when you go into multitasking mode. So you can also press it to sort of toggle between which app you want to choose and then you can sort of pick. So um, otherwise it seems to work well and it also works in landscape mode, which is important for tablets. And um, so that's multitasking.